Love's Blind Season 3, Episode 11. Let's talk about... Who the hell are these people looking? Uh, Matt and <laughs> Colleen, the ballerina. Um... Okay, so it started off with Colleen giving all the reservations that she didn't know if she wanted to get married and she didn't, she kept saying, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. The friend and sister made me laugh because they were saying this is not your, he's not your type because he's actually cute. So I guess like a lot of ladies, uh, she likes her men medium ugly. Um, Matt still was talking about the lady that dumped him. I, I, I'm, I'm concerned. We're out of DV month. If you know what that is, go look it up. October is DV month. And Matt's um, insecurity just reads loud. But they got up there and they said, I do. She said, you're definitely my one. Um, he said that he wanted to be with her. And I was like, okay, they're going to work it out. They're a very attractive couple. Um, I guess they're proof that what's behind door number three might be that the third time's a charm or being an option is works out sometime for you hey everybody's somebody's option right um i'm just thinking that a person who definitely wanted to get married met somebody who wanted to be vulnerable again and get married and it worked out um they showed all the finishing they finished off the episode with um people reflecting right so raven said she was devastated she loved sk she was embarrassed she loved the mom i think raven's more in love with the mom than she was with sk uh nancy said that barty said let's still do something after this and she was like no you blew it um Bartice is like she he's still in love with um not nancy what the hell yeah nancy i'm right uh, with Nancy, I'm like, no the hell you ain't. Stop lying on these people's TV trying to get more screen time, Jesus. Cole is devastated. He said that Zaynab flipped the switch. Zaynab said, you, Cole, you know exactly what it is. You sat up there and explained to me that you wanted somebody sweet, insinuating that I wasn't sweet. And the way you flirted and tried to holler at other girls, I can't stand dudes that do that. Um, was really disrespectful. And she said, is it ghetto that my friends clapped when I said no? And she said she could not marry a man where the family was not there to fully embrace her. Totally get it. And it ends with Alexa and Brandon basically going over saying how in love they are. And he's saying, it's my wife. So Brandon said he was getting him a wife. He was leaving with a wife. And that's what he left with. So, um, at the end of this episode, Colleen and Matt got married. Brennan and Alexa got married. And I think that was it. SK know he brought his ass on here for his, uh, to show off his culture. And he knew that Raven wasn't going to be that Nigerian wife. Although, I still see you, your suspect, the same way her parents care about, or her parent, whatever, care about race. You cared about being, your race being called out on the dating app. So, I see you, SK. But everybody was here for SK. I'm going to give you a pass, my Nigerian brother. You did the right thing. With that being said, that was the end of episode 11. I'm going to do the reunion. I'm dropping videos today, y'all. Yes, I'm I'm not all the way moisturized. I'm trying to live through this hurricane. Love y'all so much. God bless you. With that being said, the CPS Scholar is out.